for the given problem we have following situation two containers are connected by a cord and they are uh, passed through a pulley a frictionless pulley uh, in part a we place the origin of the coordinate system of the center of the pulley with x-axis horizontal to the right and y-axis so uh, we place here x axis horizontal to the right was 2 and this is the y axis up uh, rather downward here so let's cancel out this one here so y axis here this is our x axis the center of the mass is halfway between the containers at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to L where L is the vertical distance from the pulley center to the either of the containers so from here to L is here or here since the diameter of the pulley is a uh, 50 millimeter the center of the mass is horizontal distance of uh, 25 millimeter from each each container container part b suppose 20 gram is transferred from container on the container the left to the container on the right the container on the left has a mass m1 which is 480 grams and can is at x1 at minus 25 millimeter the container on the right has then mass 2 which is a 520 gram at an x2 plus 25 millimeter the coordinate of the center of the mass is then we can write x center of mass to be m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by mass 1 plus mass 2 Substituting value is 480 grams, 480 grams times a minus 25 millimeter plus 520 grams times a plus 25 millimeter divided by 480 grams plus 500 grams. This gives us a center of mass to be 1.0 millimeter. The y coordinate is still L. The center of mass is 26 millimeter from the lighter container along the line that joins the bodies part C when they are released the heavier container moves downward so the heavier container moves downward and the lighter container moves upward here along the line that joins the uh, uh, so the light so the heavier will come down and the lighter will go up um, so the center of mass which must remain closer to the heavier container moves downward center of mass moves downward downward part C because the containers are connected by the string which runs over the pulley their acceleration have the same main tube but in opposite direction if a is the acceleration of uh, mass 2 and minus a is the acceleration of mass 1 then the acceleration of center of mass acceleration of center of mass will be m1 times minus a plus m2 times of a divided by m1 plus m2 which is a times so a times uh, this will be a times mass 2 minus mass 1 divided by mass 1 plus mass 2 then uh, using a tension we can write uh, we can find acceleration to be using a second Newton law that is m1g minus t is equal to minus m1a and uh, t is equal to m1g plus m1a um, and m2g minus m1g minus 
m1a is equal to m2a, um, where a is equal to m2 minus m1 uh, times g, g divided by m1 plus m2. So the center of mass of acceleration will be g uh, times m2 minus m1 square divided by m1 plus m2 whole square. Substituting values 9.8, here we have 520 minus 480 square, 520 plus 480 square. This gives us an acceleration of the center, center of mass to be 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second squared, which is a downward.